Poison is defined as a chemical compound that causes harm, pain, or death within an organism. In this video, I'll be telling you about a few examples of poisons that have got into the natural world and caused harm. Today we use poisons for a number of things, but most obviously as pesticides. We intentionally smother our crops in certain chemical compounds in an attempt to kill and keep away pests. But this itself isn't an accident. Obviously, there's a reason behind this. However, the side effects are. Pesticides are capable of lowering biodiversity in an area drastically, especially on pollinator species such as butterflies and bees. More than 98% of insecticides and 95% of herbicides spread to unintended species and places. This contamination not only directly affects the health of the individual animals, but can also cause the destruction of habitats. In North Carolina, much of the birds that relied on the peanut fields for food and shelter found themselves much more susceptible to predation with the reduced cover and starvation from lack of insect and plant-based foods. But it's not just the intentional poisons that are hazards to wildlife. If you've ever gone to the beach on a really hot day, it's likely you've had to use sunscreen. A necessary precaution to prevent yourself from getting sunburned, to be sure, but it can also reduce the risk of melanoma and skin cancer. So all in all, sounds like a good thing. A study in 2015 suggested that some sunscreens may be linked to the effects of coral bleaching, specifically to a compound called oxybenzone. Though this claim has been heavily debated, and a study in 2019 found lower than expected thresholds for environmental toxicity. It's also possible that certain sunscreens are increasing the levels of hydrogen peroxide in the area, which causes damage to the phytoplankton, the basis for the ocean's food chain. As many a farmer will tell you, rats and other rodents can be an absolute nightmare to deal with. They breed fast and can devastate crops and granaries, so it's only natural they'd want to get rid of them with readily available poisons. However, many a killed rat's journey does not end with death. They're often scavenged by animals like foxes, cats, and birds, which die from the compounds remaining within the rat's system. This can, in turn, lower the abundance of the rat's natural predators in the area, eventually leading to an overall increase in said pests. We all know that tear gas is a terrible concoction that causes immense pain in the sinuses and eyes of those exposed to it, but due to the recent events in Hong Kong and the troubles going on there, it may be the reason for a mass die-off in the local bird populations. As of December 2nd, 4,668 birds have died. Although there is limited literature on the effects of tear gas on these animals, I believe it's safe to say it's definitely a likely cause. Since the gas can cause chemical burns and cornea scarring on larger animals like humans, you can easily imagine the effects it has on much smaller creatures. Besides wildlife, Animals like dogs have been exposed to this painful concoction. Even the police's own service animals have had to deal with the effects of the gas, whilst their handlers remain safe within their protective gear. As if that wasn't bad enough, when left to expire, tear gas can break down into cyanide oxide, a compound that is way more toxic and certainly fatal. A decline in the number of insectivorous birds in the area gives pests such as roaches, flies and orthopterans a chance to flourish becoming a hazard to public health and local vegetation, which may not be able to handle the extra grazing. Using poisons can be avoided. Although in the short run it may seem like the easiest solution, there are always alternatives that are better in the long run. Pesticides in some places are being replaced with parasites that only affect the target pest species. Making farmland more habitable for natural predators can promote them in an area and reduce rodent populations. Coral-safe sunscreens are already widely available. And China, if you're listening, all you need to do is treat the people of Hong Kong like humans and stop being massive con- As of making this video, the Hong Kong protests continue, and so does the Chinese government's complete disregard for the well-being of not just its animals, but, of course, its people. We as individuals may not be able to do a lot to help, but what we can do is continue to spread awareness of the terrible things that are still happening. After all, shedding light on cockroaches sends them running into shadows. That's all for today, and I'm sorry this video got a little political towards the end, but I wanted to shed light on some things that really bothered me. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.